Done. It's not that difficult. This week we have a look at the book The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Uh, this is another one of those books that's sort of American teenage post-apocalyptic world um, where you have a group of teenagers building their own society and basically just being heroic. Um, so we'll have a look at the plot and then I'll come back and I'll let you know what I thought of The Maze Runner. The Maze Runner, book one. Uh, this is a story uh, about a teenager. Now at the beginning of the book, we find him in a metal elevator, rising up um, in, well, up, 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 up. He doesn't know where he is. That's the, th the real problem at the beginning of the story is, is this character doesn't know who he is. He's lost his memory. When the elevator finally stops, he finds himself in a glade, in a, in a glade surrounded by other teenage boys looking at him and wondering who he is. Um, and it turns out that this character has found himself in this small community of teenage boys, all about the same age. Um, he soon starts getting some of his memories back and remembers that his name is Thomas. And it turns out that he has arrived in what is called the Glade, for obvious reasons. And the boys in it are called Gladers. And that's all well and good. This teenage group of, this teenage band of uh, boys have created their own society. And he soon finds out that actually the Glade is surrounded on three sides by walls. So he can't actually get out. He's actually surrounded and the boys are kept in this glade. Um, again, he starts to remember bits and pieces, but it's obvious from the boys, the boys tell him that every month a new person arrives and they've lost their memory. So essentially what they're trying to do is survive in this glade and um, being surrounded by these walls. But Thomas soon finds out there's actually something even more odd about this place because he wants to know what's outside the glade, this small area where the boys live. Let me zoom out here a little bit. And he soon finds out that actually, as the title suggests, outside of the glade is an incredibly complex maze. And it turns out the boys have been trying to explore this maze to work out how to get out of this place because obviously they have no memory. Um, so they send people out into the maze called, you've guessed it, runners. And during the day, these maze runners run out into the maze and try and map it. The only slight problem with that is that the maze changes each night. The actual walls change around it, um, making it almost impossible to work out how to get out of this maze. It's really interesting because they don't know why they're there as well. Now, Thomas becomes really interested in this and wants to know what's outside the maze, obviously. Um, and he wants to go out and explore. But they say it's very dangerous to be out in the maze, particularly at night. Because at night, the, the gates of the glade close up automatically and things are released. These terrible beings that are referred to as grievers. Now, I won't show you a griever just yet, and I'll talk about that later. Um, so you can't be out at night in, in the maze because these grievers will come and attack you. So the rest of the story continues from there about what is this maze? Why are they there? Thomas starts to remember bits and pieces. He starts to remember more and more uh, about his past. Um, and it turns out he knows slightly more than the other boys in the glade. Then a, and then an event happens that is totally unexpected, um, which changes everything. And from there, we take the story through the maze, past the grievers, and maybe beyond. And that is the story of The Maze Runner. Okay, The Maze Runner. Now, this has obviously been made into um, a rather large film, and I know it's very popular. Um, 
I would say overall it's a pretty good book. It's a good fun read. It's in this sort of vein of these this new wave of science fiction uh, post-apocalyptic worlds for teenagers, especially American ones. So the same as Gone and um, I suppose Hunger Games and that Divergent series as well. Um, so it's, it's in that kind of world and it's the same kind of storytelling. You've got this group of teenagers basically that are trying to either rebuild society or rebel against the man you know these adults don't understand us we're going to do it better but ironically it seems like in every book they just do it exactly the same um, build their own societies in the way that they were built before and actually do them worse I don't know if this is like a comment that actually teenagers can't do it better I don't know um, <laughs> but in this book it's quite exciting uh, you've got the main character Thomas who that I, the whole idea of uncovering who he was, who he is, it makes this quite interesting actually. Um, and the book sort of blossoms from this one world where they are in the glade to then conquering the maze, um, and then starting to find out what you know, what if anything is outside of the maze. Um, if we have a look at the characters, I thought the characters were pretty good. They're basically sort of stock characters, you know, the same kind of characters that you find in most of these books. Um, you've got the sort of heroic teens. Um, the same sort of the bully, the the kind one, the guy that's doing it because he may not agree with it but it, he's doing it for the community um, and then you've got the girl who obviously always tends to get with the the main character and is, is always quite practical and clever um, so there was nothing special I didn't find about the characters um, in fact once again the main character tended to annoy me more than anything I quite like the other characters they had more about them than just being this heroic guy who's just going to do it all um, the setting was a very interesting I thought a really interesting setting you know inside this maze you know got the glade and I really liked the bits where they were talking about the society they had created inside the glade you know what would a society look like um, in, in that case and, and some of the extra sort of world building things like the things they do in their spare time although you didn't see much of that which was a little bit disappointing I quite would like to see more of them, the author exploring the kind of world that they've built inside the maze and actually to some extent the film does that a little bit more there's a I think there's a scene where they're having this sort of dance and this ritual burning of things and I thought that was quite an interesting concept um, so that was Maze Runner it's a, it's a fairly good book, I'd, I'd recommend it if you're into that kind of story. Um, I don't think it's going to excite other people that aren't really into it. Um, it's, I think it's aimed at a slightly older student above year six, but a lot of year sixes are going to enjoy reading that. Um, and and it, you know, it does suffer a little bit from this first bookitis. You know, it was setting up the story, it is a series, and it was setting up the rest of the series, but not so much as, let's say, Gone does it in a much more irritating way. This feels like more of a complete story. There are some things that annoy me about the plot. Um, like, for instance, why, you know, why didn't they just build shields? If they were able to ask for things, why didn't they just get all that stuff and build shields? Um, <laughs> um, and, and also, the, I, was a f I felt a little bit let down with how they actually conquered the maze. I thought it wasn't particularly clever. Um, and, and the way that they hadn't realized what it is, even though they'd been there for like three years. So it's just a bit like, come on, you've built up this wonderful story, you've got this wonderfully clever things going on, let's put, you know, it would have been nice to see a more in innovative way to crack the maze, I suppose. Um, the other thing is the Grievers, I just, they were such a good idea, like this sort of menacing outside, almost ethereal creature that they knew nothing about. Um, and then when you finally get the description of them, I felt it was all over the place. I mean, <laughs> it was almost like, I remember the first description, it's like, it seemed like something that a five-year-old would draw if they were told to draw a monster, instantly. So I've, I've given it a go myself, and this is my version of the, the griever that's described in the book. Um, pew, 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 just things sticking out everywhere. It was like, I need a griever that's got spikes. Okay, let's, uh, the griever's got spikes now. It's a kind of slug-like creature. It's two meters long, and then later on it's described as huge. It was just a little bit all over the place for me, and that was a little bit of a letdown as well. Um, I think, I don't want to compare it to the film, but the film does it in a much better way, I think, in a much more defined way. Overall, it's a pretty standard book in this kind of genre. 
that seems to be cropping up a lot recently. Um, it's worth a read. If you're going to compare it to the other ones, I haven't read all of those different ones, but the one I have read is Gone. I would prefer this one to the Gone series. Uh, well, I've only read the first book, but I would prefer this one to Gone. Overall, make it your next page if it's that kind of thing for you. If not, I'd just leave it on the shelf. And that is The Maze Runner. So until next time, have fun reading.